Hi guys, it's Vego here. So today I had a really nice chess day. I actually played in a local tournament and I managed to win. And then I was all set up for game 12 between Carson and Caruana when I suddenly realized that the game is not played today but rather tomorrow. Okay, so that's why I decided to do a video on another game instead. And this following game was played um, in 2018. Uh, during the Tata Steel India tournament, it was a Blitz and Rapid tournament, I think it was held uh, well at the beginning of November. So uh, last rounds were played uh, when the Carson Corona match has already started. And the following game was actually played on a rest day um, uh, between Rapid and Blitz, I believe. And uh, they, are, they are based on a video that was published by Chessbase India in which uh, they show the top, uh, world top players playing 2 versus 2 blitz. So first of all, what is 2 versus 2 blitz? So basically, uh, players are divided into pairs and uh, they, uh, make, uh, they make every second move. So uh, for instance, in this game, Anand and Karakin were playing uh, together and Anand, Anand made all odd moves and Karakin made all even moves so they made make uh, their moves in, in turn and <laughs> it, it it was really very entertaining very very beautiful video because we got to see uh, the top players in their relaxed uh, edition and there was a lot of banter a lot of laugh uh, a lot of trash talking a lot of entertainment and mamejaro was in particular really very 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 talkative so to speak and there was always this glass of wine next to him so yeah i, I will link the video of, of this particular game below so you can you can watch it it's only two minutes two minutes uh, long and uh, yeah i think it is very very much worth watching so but okay let's check and see how this game actually went so uh, anand started the game and he played d4 and mamejarov answered with knight f6 and Karyakin played knight f3 and so played d5. So once again it was Anand's turn. Anand played c4, Mamedyarov played e6, and here Karyakin played e3. This is probably not the most ambitious move in the world, but okay, it's some sort of, of, of the call. I think with this move, white enters the call, slash, uh, yeah, potentially some semi slashy systems. But with the bishop on here, it is a bit weird, okay. Bishop e7. By so b3 by Anand, castling by Medyarov, bishop b2 by Anand, c5 by so striking in the center, trying to undermine this pawn. Sorry, not this pawn. Ah, this pawn. D takes c5 by Anand, bishop takes c5 by Medyarov, knight bd2 was played by uh, Anand, b6 was played by so and bishop d3 by. I think, oh no, yeah, Anand once again. Yeah, so previous move was by Karakin. And now bishop b7 by Mamejarov. Uh, short casting by Karakin. And here knight b7 by So. And uh, in the video, at this very moment, uh, So commented that uh, this is just like Karakin's game against Magnus. This is the game 10 of their World Championship match, uh, which uh, Karakin actually won. And Karakin said, oh really? And then uh, a couple of seconds ago, I said, oh yeah, it really is like that game. So if you are not familiar with that game, uh, I, I will link uh, uh, on a post on my blog where we have uh, made a report on, on round 10 and analyze this game. So you can check it out. It it's a, it's, was a wild and crazy game from the previous World Chess Championship. Uh, so Queen E2 was played by Anand. And uh, Rook C8 was played by Majarov. And indeed, <laughs> this just shows how uh, amazing these um, chess players are, how, what, how great their pattern recognition is and their memories. Because after Queen E7, we would have indeed uh, transposed into um, aforementioned Magnus Karakin game, among other things. But okay, Rook C8 was played by Majarov. A3 was played by Karakin. A5 preventing B4 by So. Rook FD1 by Anand. D takes c4 by Mamejarov, knight takes c4 by Karakin, queen e7 by so, knight d4 by Anand, and now rook fd8, 
by Mamejarov, and actually now the players have transposed once again to the Carson Karakin game, and there White went rook ac1, and okay, after many adventures and playing for the win, he lost that game. Spoiler alert. But uh, here, uh, Karakin played knight b5, and he says in the video, now it really is like my game against Carlsen, which so yeah, s close enough, but <laughs> but yeah, not quite. Knight of Fate by Mamejarov, and here he said something I couldn't quite catch, something along the, along the I don't like to play like this or what is this move or something like that. And here E4 by Anand, which is a bit uh, loose because <laughs> yeah, there are many tactical ideas now connected with this advance. Knight G6 by Mamejarov. This this was something similar could have been happened in the in this Carson Karakin game. G3 by Karakin. Now Bishop C6 by So. Uh, actually, <laughs> uh, here Rook D3 was something very strong. After Rook takes D3, Bishop takes E4. Black has tremendous compensation because Knight G4 is coming, and yeah. And here, yeah, but okay. And uh, funnily enough, in this position, actually, <laughs> Shak Mamedyarov thought it was his move, and he he took with the with the rook with the rook on d3. He tried taking, and uh, in process, he crushed all all these pawns on the king side. But yeah, actually, so it, it would have more or less transposed to this position, and he, then uh, afterwards, so commented that after bishop d4 he was worried, but and Majarov said like, okay, but then you just take, 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 take everything, and you're winning. So it it was really funny, and also a great um, example of how different their approach to chess is because Majarov seeks these dynamic opportunities, and so preferred the more positional bishop c6. Knight c3 was played by Anand, now e4 is defended and these tricks don't work anymore. h5 of course by Mamejarov, always seeking some attacking chances. Now e5 by Karakin, which is actually a very, very big blunder because it allows knight g4 with, with crushing threats. And I think somewhere around here Karakin actually said, uh, I'm sorry Vichy. So now uh, after knight g4, uh, f2 is attacked by knight and the bishop. And it is hard to say what the best move is. Somebody shouted to Vichy, okay, rook f1, and Vichy played rook f1. But here Mamejarov played simply, <laughs> or not so simply, knight f4. And he followed it up with some strange shouting and cheering and loud noise and high-fiving Vesley. And actually Vichy and Karakin resigned here. So why exactly did they resign? Well, first of all, uh, this bishop is attacked, queen is attacked, but more more, more importantly, uh, h3 is threatened. So if you move the queen, Black doesn't even take this bishop, but he goes knight h3 and this is a checkmate. And, but if you take the knight, then queen h4 comes and there is no defense against checkmate here. Because you can never play f3 because this pawn is pinned. If you could play f3 here and defend this pawn, it would be excellent, but this bishop is the MVP of this position. Uh, and yeah, that was the game. I also forgot to mention that the guys were playing, <laughs> they, they were playing with, not with the regular chess clock, but they were using this uh, app on their mobile phone. So, so, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really incredible video because we get to see another side of these uh, top guys and uh, how much they are actually enjoying uh, chess and how friendly with each other they actually are despite the tension they create on the board. So yeah, that was really nice and cute game I believe and uh, make sure to watch not only this video but all videos from, from Chess Base India, especially these uh, free day videos. I will try to make coverage of some other games as soon as I gain some time. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video, that's all for today. Uh, as usual, you can watch two of my previous videos on the left-hand side of the screen. And uh, yeah, see you soon, uh, most probably when uh, when the game 12 between Magnus and uh, Fabiano gets played. And yeah, we hope for a very entertaining and fighting encounter. So once again, goodbye and take care.